Okay guys, here it is. This is my teacher planner slash life and everything planner all wrapped up in one. I have used the ARC planner system from Staples to put this bad boy together. I initially had it set up in a spiral system that I created myself and then sent it to Officeworks to get printed and also get bound, spiral bound. So this is how I changed it. So I've got the 38 millimeter rings on here, which might be a tad big, but I can't get, the small ones were too small, the big ones are too big and the medium ones are hard to get. So I love this green cover. It's really pretty, it's genuine leather. So I turn the page and I just have some receipts in here for work. And I've shown you in my last video that I had the slip pocket in here. I've put in my Erin Condren, uh, what's it called? Post-it note thingies. And it's on coil clips. And they actually fit. The coil clips actually work in the arc system. So that's pretty cool. I forgot to mention also that this planner size is actually A4 size. So it's the big size. I also punched the Erin Condren pocket in here and I am using it to house my daily stickers in here. And they're my, not my decoration ones, they're organizational ones. So that's there. Then I have, I've used this a number of times even in the last day or two days. Um, just whatever I'm working on at work at the moment, I'll just quickly pop it in here. And I took it out for the purpose of the video but it's double-sided. I have my front page in here for if it's lost and all popped in here. I have my usernames and passwords for work. I have my websites down here, usernames down here and passwords down here. I usually tend to not put actual proper passwords, but I'll put clues to the passwords. And I have notes sections in here that I haven't utilized just yet. But look how beautiful the pages turn. I can pull the pages out, pop them back in really simply. And I've done it a number of times already and I love it. Uh, here's my professional development pages. I haven't filled them all out yet, but I'm getting there. And I've probably got about up to here that I haven't filled out yet. I've been pretty naughty. But this is great when it comes to end of the year and you have to document your professional development for, for teaching. This is my forward planning for my PMA classes, my performing and media arts, and things that I uh, am tentatively putting in places. And this is my art forward planning and what I'm doing in the months coming up. This is some record keeping I was keeping at the start of the year until I moved on to Class Dojo. Then I have a bunch of blank ones because I was going to use them. I've got them in here for now, but again, I can pull them out whenever I want to. If I decide that Class Dojo is working really well for attendance, then I will remove the rest of these. So I've got a bunch more of them. And then it comes on to my month on two pages. I put my term and my week down the side here. And I don't use really, I don't use this for home. This is all work related, these monthly pages. I don't really use the monthly pages in my personal planner. And this is all that. And we're up, this is where my first bookmark is in July this month. And then we move on to my bulk of the planner, which is my weekly week on two pages. So I have my to do's down here, my orders, my teacher planner basics. I also do teaching planning in planbook.com, which is where I have my detailed stuff. I use the top section up here for my home. I use the middle section for work and I use the bottom sections for to do's for that particular day. And these are to do's for the week. This section up here are any important information I need to know about coming up that day and obviously the dates in here. And this is just a note section. Sometimes I use it for post-it notes like I did here, and sometimes I just scribble in there. So here it is getting a bit more detailed. 
my payday things up there. So I'm just going to flip through and show you how I've been using it week by week. And the little post-it notes just cover up some personal things that I don't want advertised all over YouTube. <laughs> Okay, another post-it note put in there. Sometimes I do little doodles and things. This was the first week of the holidays, so I didn't really use it for work. If it was just, if I only was to use it as a home planner, I'd still have the same layout, but I would have the A5 size. This is perfect for work as well. So that's why I got the A4 size. This is last week. And this week, as you can see, work has swung into action and it's quite busy. This is what I'm using. I just hole punch this laminate. Um, and uh, Sorry, acetate. And I like to have my bookmark down the bottom so I can flick from the bottom. I just like that more than flicking from the top. So I have the monthly one up the top, which I don't use that often, but I use this one every day. So I'll put that one down the bottom. Just do little doodles and things. It's my next week, getting ready, starting to slowly fill out. The week after, and this is what a blank one looks like. I put washi tape on every day because when I was hole punching it was going to cover up a little bit here and I didn't want to individually hole punch every week so I washi taped it and then hole punched it so I didn't have to worry about it I tried to kind of give it some kind of theme so it'll be kind of my bluey theme so I'll just put my next washi tape over here when it comes to that week and I've done that all the way through to the end of the year so after that I've got my tabs here and my first tab is going to be videos for the classroom palette, which is my uh, teaching YouTube channel and my genuine life video ideas. I'll be putting all my ideas for that in here as well so I can get to them at any time. I also have it in my Julia Campania for my on the go, but this is when I'm at work and at home and come up with an idea. I've got four more tabs in here, but I haven't put anything in them just yet. And I will do that as the, as the, term progresses and I have more to do for work, I'll probably section them off. This section in here is my index page and I do have something in here but I haven't indexed it at the moment because it is about my PDP which is my teacher professional development stuff and I don't really want to share that at the moment but that's what a blank one looks like. So the boxes down here are for the page number, the title of whatever it is that I want to be indexed and whatever the topic is about and then my page pages in here and I've got quite a number of those here then I have my plastic pockets again I do have things in there but I took them out for the video because they're school related and one's about my kids school and then I put some bits and pieces in here as well so this has worked absolutely perfectly the only downside I would say is that it's a little bit heavy, but I carry a really, really big bag to work. So it won't be, it's not really a big deal. If I could get this, the next ring sizes down, I probably will get that, probably because I don't need that much. It doesn't need to be that thick, but I love this layout. I love how I can pull the pages out whenever I want to, if the um, little ring mechanism is in the way, I can put it back in again just as easily. It is just a fantastic planner. I love the punch. I can put any more pages that I want in this thing, which I have done. Any work I need to remember or hold on to can go straight into here. So I am really, really, really happy with this. The only other thing I use besides this planner is I now have my social media planner. I was putting it in here, but I have too much to do. I have my Genuine Life channel, which is this one here. I have my Classroom Palette channel, and I also have my TPT store, so which is Teachers Pay Teachers. So there's a lot to kind of do, and I don't want all that stuff being taken up by the space in here. The only other thing I have is my wallet slash satellite planner, which I use when I make appointments and stuff, and I don't want to carry this 
big thick chunky monkey around with me then I bring my satellite planner to put in my doctor's appointments or whatever and transfer it across to here later. I also have little notes section in there too if I want to jot down any notes and stuff on the fly. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it and this is part two. Part one I will link below but it was all about how excited I was to actually get this planner in my hot little hands and transfer my coil bound into this. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you later on. Have a great day. Bye.